Hey everybody, welcome back to Bedrock Tarot, and we're reading this time for October for our water signs. So we've got for Cancer and Scorpio and Pisces. Uh, remember, of course, the two rules on Bedrock Tarot, the rule of ooh, ooh. If you say ooh, ooh, that means it's for you. Go ahead and apply it as you need. And the rule of if it sucks, hit the bricks, go take a swim, go take a bath, go, I don't know, run in the sprinkler uh, before it gets too cold in October. Whatever it is that you do when you're not watching these videos. Uh, with me here. Let's go ahead and see what we've got coming up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So first up, we've got the Empress reversed. Now she's usually uh, in charge of the home and the inner sphere and things like that. So something's gotten a little chaotic and real close to home here. I will tell you, you guys, <laughs> this is true. Uh, when I get the Empress reversed, one of the first things that I do is check the laundry situation to see what I'm running out of because it's, if I'm out of t-shirts or something like that, she will fly out of my deck so quick. So it may even be something like, hey, you gotta, you gotta turn the dishwasher on. It may even be something like, hey, you know what, the, uh, the lawn is overgrown right now or, or, you know, it's something that is very simple, but it could also be something like you're not getting, uh, you know, the balance of rest that you need or that you need to rearrange some furniture. Figure out what that is. What's going on in, in your home that needs to be just tended. Just tend that and make sure it's uh, all solid for you. We've also got Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords going forward, but not really talking about it much and being very cunning, very crafty, keeping our cards close to close to the chest. Don't show anybody what you've got there. Uh, kind of moving in silence, being a little discreet here. Just, you know, not everybody needs to know your business. They don't. It's fine. We've also got King of Cups reversed. This guy, he's, uh, he's usually very stable, very steady in his emotions. Reversed like this, usually repression or some sort of sadness and maybe not talking about it. Uh, maybe not talking about it because it's best to keep cl uh, cards close to the vest. But whatever this secret sorrow is, and whatever is going on in the home, those will be the things to work on for October here. So working on getting everything, uh, getting your home to be your environment you can retreat to and you can be your most authentic self in and addressing whatever it is here that's got you, got you kind of riled up in, a, in an emotional way. And you know, just dealing with those things, but not necessarily, hey, tweeting about all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's my, that's me that's me anyway it's probably not you don't worry about it all right yeah best of luck uh, water signs have a great october